Welcome to Try Animes, another weekly roundup of AmiAmi Ami figure pre-orders. Um, we'll be, I've broken this one up into some categories this time, um, so organise at least the week a bit more. Um, this will be from the 9th of January to the 13th of January, uh, which is a Tuesday to the Saturday. Uh, they were closed on the 8th, which was a Monday, so um, as you can see in the calendar here on the left. Um, just having a quick scroll through. Uh, there's quite a lot of plushies that came out as uh, well. Uh, Azulane and Idol Master plushies. Um, good, pretty much all the Azulane ones have already sold out, unfortunately. But you might be able to catch them uh, later in because they get released next month. So you might be able to catch them if you uh, add them to your bookmarks. Um, uh, there's uh, there was quite a reasonable amount of figures um, and a couple of sort of alternative figures which we'll get over uh, to once we once we get into. Uh, looking at the figures that I've uh, selected for us to go over today. Um, so let's go to a start with that. Oh, uh, as like with usual, uh, all the links to uh, all these uh, figures I'll be looking at will be in the description down below. Um, and if you could please uh, comment, like and subscribe, then that'll uh, be a big help and let me know that I'm obviously doing a positive thing. Uh, the top 10 of the, the week uh, when this is done, uh, we have uh, Beast Stars. Uh, and then you've got Azure Lane Plushie, um, you've got a Hollow Live Productions uh, freeing figure, um, Zoids, which I've not, um, I think I've heard of Zoids, but I've not, didn't realise they were that uh, popular. Um, and the Look Up uh, Furin and uh, Terro Plushie, so yeah, that's in the top 10, uh, as you can see here. And there's a prop proplica as well, Moonstick. Which is interesting for that to be in the top 10 rankings. Um, anyway, we'll get into the uh, figures uh, we're looking at today. Uh, Girls Frontline 416 White Nagora version by Hobby Max for 27,690 yen. Um, this one's a pretty interesting sculpt. I like the hair sculpt on this one. Um, the shading that they've got going on here. Let me zoom in. That's a bit better. Uh, the hair sculpt that they've got going on here is much uh, is quite nice actually overall for a well, it's twenty eight thousand yen. So I'd expect the sculpt to be actually really uh, high quality for one seventh scale when you're spending nearly thirty thousand yen on the uh, figure like this. So the overall sculpt looks good. The jacket uh, sculpt looks pretty good as well. The folds that they got going on there. Um, the overall style and aesthetic is very casual, very sort of you know going out streetwear. Um, I quite like that. Uh, so Girls Frontline 416. Uh, that's expected to come out February 2025. Uh, Fist of the North Star, 16th collectible action figure by Raul. Uh, by Storm Collectibles for 37,260 yen. Very expensive figure. Uh, just over £200 here in the UK. Um, but it, Fist, North Star, Fist of the North Star is obviously a very iconic anime uh, if you've not seen it i would highly recommend watching it uh very just sort of you know actually just a uh, macho anime uh, to watch um uh, the storyline is obviously not and it is actually quite good to be honest for what it is um but yeah it's just uh, amazing uh, and verona kenshin is uh <laughs> just a, uh, one of those sort of uh, pro tags that you get a hold of um that's sort of you know sticks in your memory uh you know the phrase umura shinru uh you're already dead um so it's uh pretty good um yeah no it looks very well detailed uh the figure it looks great but um it it's more of a collection style thing rather than an actual anime figure so i don't know if it's something you'd potentially want to get um i've not heard of storm collectibles uh, maybe they might be more into actual action figures um, or collect like Marvel and stuff like that, um, which might be why they've uh, done this. But the detailing, like on the veins and the muscles, are really well done. The metal tarnishing on his uh, gre greaves and his gauntlets look uh, look good, and the well, well, the metallics look pretty good, and the uh, red uh, red uh, paint looks. Um, very well done as well. So a very nice looking figure and looks like you can position it in somewhat. So yeah, uh, that's uh, Fist and North Star. Raul. Uh, Thunderbolt Squad Vodka Mirror, one ninth seamless action by Animista, fifteen thousand four hundred yen. So it's one of those um, you know fe you know girls sort of action figure uh, posable figures um, that's you know mech equipped with lots of mech pieces or in a mech suit. So yeah. Um, 
quite good looking figure seems very poseable and at least with it being sort of mech themed it does cover up a lot of the joints especially in the legs and the arms um it makes it a lot more uh viable for just covering that sort of thing and based on the way she does her leg spread legs up here i would guess they're using um like a rubbery plastic for the actual body skin parts in order to facilitate that stretching uh, so it seems like there's an extra uh, skeleton underneath um, the torso area. Um, doesn't mention anything about the way it's constructed. Uh, here we go. PVC, PVC, ABS, silicon, metal and alloy. So yes, there is um, silicon. So that'll be a silicon base for the actual skin um, tone and whatnot. So that's, uh, I think we're seeing that a lot more. I think Animista have done a couple of these before, or a few of them. So they're obviously not very big figures. One ninth stands 22 centimeters tall, actually. So about the same sc scale as a one seventh, one eighth figure. So um, pretty tall, actually. Uh, but I think the ears might be popping up a bit. But yeah, no, it's a very good looking figure. The paint job looks really good. Um, and I love the d overall design of this, all the sort of mechanical parts. Uh, look really well done, very nicely detailed. Probably worth picking up if you're into getting um, these sorts of you know mechanical waifus. Uh, next, we've got Azulane Chowho uh, Fro Frolicking Flowers version two, version one six by Any Game, twenty one thousand two hundred eighty yen. Uh, not bad price. Uh, the sculpt looks really well done on this as well. Uh, that's the uh, another Azulane figure we're looking at in a bit. Um, but yeah, she's reaching for a uh, bird or some sort of talisman here. Um, yeah, the sculpt looks really good. The colouring looks really good as well overall. And I think for the price, it's not too bad. Um, this one, it does seem like you need to pair it though with the next Azure Lane figure we're looking at. Uh, Azure Lane Ying Sui, um, frolicking version. of her lying on the table um, just with her legs up in the air. Uh, looks very obviously the hair all over the place uh, adds a lot to it as well um, that looks they look really well sculpted and detailed um, and her outfit looks really good so the coloring looks really good on this so if these are two and it looks like you really should get them as a pair so you can um, display them one under the, after the other under the other so that and that was only going to be for you know 42,000 yen just over to get both of those uh, which is actually not a bad price for one six scale figures which look like based on the promos they're very well uh, you know detailed and the paint job is good quality um, for tw less than 20,000 yen each um, I would suggest probably getting both I don't think you could probably have um, Yang Sui by herself I think you if you're going to get Yang Sui you'd probably have to get Chao Ho as well you probably could have Chao Ho by herself um, but like this position sort of warrants having the table over her to at least facilitate the reason why she's in that position look up digimon so we're gonna, now we're getting into a section about look up series which are sort of you know cheapo uh well they're cheaper figures which just uh look up where you can place them on your desk or at the bottom of your uh display cabinets just to add a bit of extra character full or they got characters which you might not want a full scale for they've not done a full scale for yet then there might be a look up series that you can get um get a hold of uh just you know they're cheap they don't take up a lot of space um, shipping won't be expensive on these because they're going to be small in a small box so they're quite good ways to get your foot into the door especially if they've got some um, characters of certain IPs that you know they might not they might not actually do full scales of um, so the look up one series by Mega House do look are quite a good series of figures that they do um, and they're just uh, you know very I think they're pretty pretty cute overall to just have out on display add a bit of personality so to like your PC setup or whatnot um, so we got uh, Digimon Gabumon uh, for 3,220 yen and um, these aren't like insanely detailed you know they're just sort of kind of chibi style in a way but obviously these are Digimon so they don't have insane amounts of detail which is fine um, so that's the first one then we've got to look up Mash uh, Lance Crown complete figure but for 4,080 yen uh, so this one's Again, so that is they these tend when it's characters, uh, humanoid characters, they do tend to have larger heads, as the point of look up series. So the face is sort of the main point uh, with these, and yeah, so they just look up at you, and you can position them. It does seem like they're on sort of sort of ball joint with this. 
so you can at least p pivot their heads left or right a bit. Um, and then we've got uh, Mash Burn Dead uh, again, 4080 yen. So again, nothing amazing about these uh, in terms of detailing. It's just a lookup series, something simple just to put in your collection. Um, My Hero Academia Shoto Todoroki, lookup series. Um, again, I guess you could say similar quality to Pop Parade maybe, um, but not as good as Nendroid. I'd say Nendroid's probably better overall. That's the only downside of these, is the pricing is kind of similar to an Android. In Android, you get extra parts for, so generally, Nendroids are better, but then Nendroids sort of usually go up in price after market as well once they're released, depending on the IP of the character that they're on. Um, look up here is Uchaku Uraraka as well, 3,500 yen. Again, another pretty cute figure. Um, whether Nendroid would be better in, depends on your uh, preference uh, if you don't mind these lookup series it's the only problem is the pricing they are cheap um, we've got card capture sakura sakura kimono kinemoto's uh, version 3920 yen uh, this one looks a bit at least a bit better with the vibrancy of the colors that are going on very pastely um, this one looks a little more bit more cute than the other ones at least uh, and look up Furin Beyond Journey's End, Furin uh, from Mega House, again 3,920 yen. Um, yeah, it's just the fact you don't get extra face plates with these. It's You have, pretty much have to like, like the face. I think the face is the main thing with these lookup series. Is if you like the character, but then the face just throws you off, then don't get it. Um, that's the main thing. That's obviously the draw with these lookup series. Um, uh, then yeah, uh, but she's not too bad. I think this one's Furin's pretty good here as well. Uh, out of the lookup series we looked at that they released this week or in the week, uh, this is going to be released after uh, the week of recording. Uh, Gem uh, series mobile suit Gundam Witch and Mercury palm sized. So they were going to get there's a couple of palm sized figures. So these are quite small figures that just sort of sit in your palm. Again, these are ones that you could probably have sat on your desk or on a shelf. Um, they don't take up a lot of space. Uh, they are a bit more expensive than um, pop-up parades, but they're sort of they're similar to prize quality pricing uh, uh, Quality though, that's the problem. So Again, the palm size seem like a good idea overall. These are by Mega House as well um, They seem like a good idea, but there's they're not an official scale uh, you might be better off actually just like saving up the money and getting a full scale of a figure, but she's not too bad overall um, but yeah, again, there's, the, there's nothing spectacular to do with the sculpt. Uh, the sculptor might be actually a bit better on this than uh, some pop-up parades that are out there. Um, uh, mobile Suit Gundam, the Witch Mercury, Palm Size, Choo Choo Chan. Um, again, so not too bad, but uh, it's sort of the pricing is sort of throws it off. You could get like a very good Nendroid with lots of multiple parts uh, for this pricing. You know, you're even less than this normally with Nendroids. Um, and then there's you got the pop-up parade um, large series and XL series, which are about this price as well. So it's just kind of like, um, yeah, you have to sort of fall in love with the Palm series. Uh, Rising the Shield Hero Raftalia child version. Like this one's obviously just insanely cute. Um, so I think if it's one that of a concept or a character that, you know, really grabs at your heartstrings, then definitely get it. Like I think out of the Palm series we looked at, this one's really good. Uh, it's very adorable, very cute. It's got enough detailing in the clothing to actually make it worth the price, I think. There's enough shading in the hair in this one as well compared to the other ones, which just look like they're a bland color on them. So, um, yeah, no, the Raftalia one is the best one. 7,480 yen is a bit more expensive than the other ones, but only by like 500 yen or so. So that one might be worth getting uh, June 2024. Uh, now we get into SH Figure Arts. So these are sort of the same sort of pricing, normally 6,000 to 8,000 yen. They're posable figures, um, uh, and you normally get quite a lot of SH Figure Arts uh, figures coming out of sort of the bigger, uh, well-known uh, IPs of anime that are coming out uh, seasonally. So um, this is of Ichigo, uh, Bleach 1000 Year War, Blood War, because six, less than 6,000 6, yen. Um, these are quite a good starting point to get into figures because because they're posable you can obviously make them a bit more dynamic um, get them to fit into your collection a bit better compared to just having a static figure um, a static scale figure 
and you might get some extra parts of these sometimes. It looks like this one comes with some uh, alternative faceplates of him screaming when he's uh, shouting he's uh, going to get to Tencho. Um, detailing on them is not going to be like amazing again um, at the price point they're at, but they're poseable, which, so they're kind of like action figures, I guess you could treat them as. Uh, figure Arts Renji Abari, Abari. Thousand Year Blood Walk, uh, 8,400 yen. This one's obviously a lot more expensive because of the effect parts of his um, uh, of his uh, sword going into into second form. Uh, and he's, the fact he's standing here. This one, he should be posable because it says, S uh, oh no, it's figure arts, sorry. So the SH figure arts are posable ones. And then the figure arts are your static uh, figures, but again, non-scale. So this one's obviously got more dynamic parts going onto it uh, to give it a bit more flair. Um, but the paint job's still going to be, you know, sort of, you know, lower basic paint job that's going to be on this, these sorts of figures. Uh, SH Figure Arts Toshiro Hitsuregi, uh, 6,900 yen. Uh, he looks pretty good overall. Joints, obviously, again, uh, that's the downside with having these sorts of figures. The joints always seem to detract from the figure as a whole. Um, but you get, it looks like you get a couple of face plates with him. Uh, it's pretty good looking overall. Uh, SH Figure Arts Fern, Fear and Beyond Journey's End, 8,620 yen. Uh, sold out already as we're recording this, unfortunately, or pre doors was closed. So you have to wait till release in June, uh, see if you can get Napa at all from Amiami. Uh, but yeah, uh, very uh, good looking. I like the face on this one, the fact she's got the old pout as well, face plate. Uh, and a smile is pretty good. Uh, it doesn't come with loads of accessories. Comes with ex uh, looks like she might be able to fly. Uh, bracelet, magic effect parts, magic effect parts, base set, one alternative expression parts, three so three face plates, alternative hand parts, three left uh, types, right, uh, three left hands, four right hands. Uh, so yeah, you do get so these are kind of like bigger nendroids. Uh, I guess you could say the SH figure arts are. Um, so you're losing, you don't get the chibi style effect aesthetic with Nendroids, which some people do like, some people don't like. So that's um, just a down, depend, depends on preference. I generally prefer just full scale static figures compared to uh, poseable figures overall because it's, it's a bit finicky. Normally most people will just set them up and then in the position they want and then they'll leave them and they'll just put the rest of the spare parts either in a bag or back in the box if they are keeping hold of the box. SH Figure Arts Minato Namikaze uh, Naruto P99 Edition, 6,980 yen. Uh, this one looks like it comes with a few effect parts and there's Kunai. Uh, looks fine overall. Fit good color facial expressions. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I like the facial expressions actually on this one. Uh, smiling, uh, serious, fighting, and then shouting version. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good overall. Again, sold out. That's to be expected. Minato is one of those, you know, fan favorites from uh, Naruto series. So yeah, um, you'll have to wait till July 2024 to see if you can nab him at all. Uh, now we get into the sca proper scale figures uh, that I've got at the end here. Uh, Ruana illustration by Richu one seventh uh, by L manufactured by Lemo Lemo Fig Lemio or Lemo figure, eighteen thousand six hundred seventy yen. Um, it is yep, just a one scale, one's at four twenty seven centimeters. Um, pretty interesting design overall. So, it's the summary sort of beach wear, I guess, swimsuit style aesthetic going on. Uh, sculpt looks okay. Uh, the coloring, at least on the uh, uh, I saw this dress or it's on the back, it's multi colored dress, opaque dresses pretty well done um, if they can maintain this in the final product co compared to this prototype uh, that'd be really good the flowers uh, in the head uh, piece looks pretty good uh, look the coloring and detailing on there looks really well done as well actually um, overall pretty nice looking figure um, I've not heard of this manufacturer though so uh, you might want to wait till people hold off and see what uh, people come up with uh, posting it on my figure collection uh, when people get it into their hands, but it's not insanely expensive, eighteen thousand yen. So it might be taking, it might be worth taking a bullet bullet for it. It's an OC character, so it's down to um, you, you, the individual at the end of the day. 
Same with this one, a Rihanna illustration by uh, Richu on the seventh scale. Uh, set again by Limari, 18,690 yen. This one's just sort of, you know, the uh, red haired version kind of version of it. Maybe a bit more sundry aesthetic, I guess you could say, with this one. Um, it looks like you could, buy, you could get them separately and pair them up. Um, looks fine, but again, it's something I think it's down to personal preference with OC characters if you really like them or not, or if you like the artist uh, that uh, obviously designed these uh, characters. Uh, Arknight's Helgura Grand Ceremonial Version 7th by Maithos, 14,980 yen. Coming out in October 2024. Finally, uh, well, male character, which you don't see that often. Uh, pretty nice looking, you know, seductive male, very nicely dressed character. Um, for Mark Knight, so I've not played the game, so I don't know who this Helgura is. Uh, but the overall design, the uh, furniture chair looks uh, pretty nice as well actually for the price uh, yeah really well done the sculpting and the paintwork on there looks really nicely done uh, the, the star patterning on his uh, shirt looks just is a bit extra you know to make him a bit more um a bit just seem a bit more dangerous i think overall as well that he's something and that facial expression looks really good beard showing he's a bit more you know mature and bit has wisdom i'm guessing this is some sort of uh, animal, half animal race or whatnot, but it's by my thoughts, and they've been pretty good uh, with their products uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, their final products, paint jobs, been pretty good, been really good on them generally, and their uh, sculpting's always been really good. So yeah, this one's might be worth taking a punt at if you're uh, big into your Ark Knights. Uh, my T uh, TV anime, My Hero Academia, Shoto Tokoroki. Uh, by Proof, 28,700 yen. This is one, another one of those ones we've covered before a few weeks ago, um, uh, where they've got them you know, in a scenario using their powers, and there's just lots of effect parts and uh, see, um, destruction going on of buildings and stuff in the uh, incorporated into the base. Uh, so it's a very good looking figure. Um, the price obviously is pretty high, you know, tw nearly 30,000 yen. Uh, one cent scale. The detailing looks really good though, and I think the other ones have turned up pretty well from what I'm aware of by proof. Um, these ice and snap fire part effect parts in here look pretty well done. Um, there's a good, a good enough amount of shading going on in these to at least add depth to the, those effect parts and show the contrast between his uh, two powers that he has. So yep, definitely good looking figure. Uh, Rise up, Lord of the Mysterious Clean, Klein Moretti. Uh, by Ribos for 11,280 yen. So if you're after a husbando um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, it's a pretty cheap husbando. Uh, you know, very nicely dressed. Uh, lots of uh, the sculpting going on in the, his jacket and his actual suit looks impeccable as well for the price. Uh, what scale is he? Uh, not a scale. 24, 7, 24 centimeters tall in height. Mm, it's probably one seventh, one eighth scale, probably closer to one seventh scale. Um, for the price, eleven thousand yen is actually really cheap. Uh, November twenty twenty four. Um, I think if you well, are into your husbandos, then this is really worth getting. Probably a very sleeper figure uh, that's going to fall under the radar. I think with this one, uh, the shading going on is really well done. Um, as well on the jacket, it's a very like upper quality. You know, close to twenty thousand yen style figure uh, obviously his hair and his face sculpt isn't anything like amazing to go on and the paint job on his like skin tones is pretty flat but when you're looking at his overall outfit and him as a whole for the price it's uh, pretty hard to beat that really uh, might be a little bit worth keeping an eye out on the on uh, ribos and uh, if they release any more other figures uh, this one seems to be uh, series Lord of the Mysteries. Never heard of that anime, anime series or game series. If it is one of those. Uh, next we've got uh, Navastro illustration by Kishi Yasuri one seventh. So I think this is an OC. Yep, by Hobby Sakura, uh, which Hobby Sakura generally seem to do uh, OC characters. So it's down to the design whether you like it. It's for nineteen thousand two hundred yen. So uh, this uh, overall design, I actually love the concept. I love this sort of, you know, uh, skin tight 
outfit going on where you've got these holes around the thighs accentuating her thighs and whatnot um, going on uh, very good uh, I do like like this a lot the jacket and the design work going on the back of the of her jacket looks impeccable uh, her hair shading looks really good shading on her on the back as well looks really good and the fact she's got obviously like a scar on the eye seems like she's trying to you know get revenge or something or that's her, or that's her plan um so she's probably aiming to hurt someone but in a very seductive way a uh, very good looking figure uh, possibly one to keep an eye out for actually uh, might add this to my bookmarks to be honest uh one seventh scale Habi Sakura. Um, it looks just very good overall, and for, you know, twenty thousand yen. Uh, yeah, no, this definitely looks really good overall. I've got no complaints with this one. Twenty-five centimeters tall, including base. It's a very well-designed figure. The uh, the actual sort of this flower effects going on around here on the inner thighs, um, and this sort of uh, emblem going on uh, on her tummy on the actual dress looks like impeccably well done, detailed. Um, they're really stepping up their game in uh, over the past few years. It looks like some of these manufacturers are they're actually putting extra effort into uh, getting to the smaller details and accentuating those um, just to make sure uh, that you're not losing out on anything like that. To make you basically make your you know your money go further, I suppose. Um, a freeing figure, typical. We're always going to have a freeing put almost every week, really. Uh, Hollow Live Production Usada Pecora, quarter scale. Um, so this is off a Hololive character, I suppose. Um, the overall design, I'm guessing they've captured it. I've not heard, seen this character at all or anything, so I don't know if the design of this actually matches um, the actual Hololive character design. Uh, the fact that they're incorporating character, carrots um, all over the place, obviously I'd be guessing our cues from the actual character, uh, Hololive, the VTuber. Um, it looks fine, looks good overall. It's definitely much more unique compared to, you know, standard freeing figures. Uh, so that's a plus. Um, but then because of the more uniqueness, it's 43,560 yen. So increase it means there's a price increase. Um, I think you have to really like this Hollow Live character, Sada Pekora, uh, to get at the like quarter scale figure of her, uh, especially by, by freeing. When, you know, sometimes. Generally, when you're collecting quarter scales, you kind of know you're paying because it's a quarter scale. And you, the quality is not always going to be there. Detailing is not going to be great all the time. So the QC could be a bit uh, hit and miss. So, uh, yeah, it's just might have to wait and see. But uh, I did not know they were going into whole live figures, uh, at least quarter scale freeing. Um, I'm guessing they're starting to run out of IPs to get characters for and turn them into quarter scales. Fate Grand Order Arcade Caster Merlin Prototype on 7th by Alta. So this one's going to be impeccable paint job and impeccable sculpt for 33,230 yen. And if you're a massive Fate Grand Order uh, uh, collector, then this will be worth definitely worth collecting, uh, getting. Um, the This is looks stunning. Uh, I see... No imperfections at all. The hair sculpt is crazy and amazingly detailed, and the paint job looks great. Uh, this looks like a like perfect figure. Probably something that you could say is a you know, figure of the year, or definitely top ten figure of the year. I reckon currently, uh, we still got one hobby and whatnot coming out. Uh, obviously, to over the well, one hobby next month, and then other. Uh, exhibitions and cons coming out anyway so we'll have to wait and see but this one's a good start to 2024 uh, by Alta as well um, oh, good step forward you've got, you've got the Sakura Blossoms and the, the base it's just a very nice looking figure but of a fate uh, grand up for the fate figure um, very good if you're in big into your fate and it's by Alta so you got the stamp seal approval with Alta uh, on that as the manufacturer and then we've got Naruto Gals, Naruto Shippuden Timari uh, by Mega House for 20,680 yen. Um, I'm glad we're seeing Timari at least. Some other characters that aren't the main uh, characters that you see from Naruto Shippuden or from the Naruto series. Um, yeah, it's good that we're actually getting some more representation of some of the other characters from Naruto. The more, more or less well-known characters. 
and I think um, Tamara is sort of got like a secret cult following or some people might have just like a secret crush on her uh, when they first saw her in Naruto uh, but they didn't say it because you know they wanted um, uh, like maybe one of the other crush on Hinata or something like that instead but um, yeah no Tamari looks quite yeah quite good looking figure looks good uh, sculpt is pretty simple overall but I think they're going closer to the actual um, uh, style that she appears in the anime compared to you know a bit more realistic uh, for photo you know uh, version of it so that's perfectly fine though um, yeah a good looking figure uh, that does it for this week again all the uh, links for these will be in the video description down below and uh, shall see you in next week's video uh, of uh, Ami Ami pre-orders I'll catch you in the next one please comment suck, uh, subscribe um, and like the video um, just let keep me going and uh, I shall catch you in the next video Peace. Bye.